football and focus chains rib shack on a Thursday night. Talk to Country Dan Collins from the Winston-Salem Journal and his book, The ACC Basketball Book of Fame. Now we've got Heath Justice with us from Eastern Guilford, their quarterback. Big year. And he just said he was hungry. He changed rib shack. I was going to ask the All question. Right. Big year for Eastern Guilford. Satisfying or still hungry? Yeah. Still hungry? Yeah. Definitely Very still hungry. hungry. Uh, Shane's food coming up soon for Heath Justice. What about the success you guys have had so far? Southern Guilford had the big back, Reggie Gillespie. Mm -hmm. You guys uh, pretty much tackled and took care of him later in the game early. only hurt you guys some. How did you guys find a way to kind of get him stabilized, slow him down some? We just made some halftime adjustments to our game plan and um, really just like worked on tackling better and like getting all 11 hats to the ball and stuff, surrounding the ball. In that first quarter, I kept some numbers that night. It was at the game. I think he had about 147 yards rushing first quarter alone. Yeah. But after that stage, you guys pretty much kept, didn't really keep him totally in check, but you guys slowed him we down. We slowed him down. Yeah. yeah. We slowed him down where we could like catch up with him and stuff. So That was a big part of the game too for yeah, you guys. Yeah, that, that was the game plan right there really. So I mean, just slow Reggie, slow Reggie down like we knew we could win the game if we stopped him. So Now do you play any defense or strictly offense? Strictly offense. So you were watching your defensive team on the field and they're on the field, you were over the sideline after you come off of the offense and keep an eye on your defense. Who were some of your better defensive players? Some guys you put your, if you do a good job offensively, you leave the field, you kind of put that ball in the defense's hands and expect them to do well. Mm -hmm. Who were some of your defensive players that step up for you and help you guys out a lot? Marlon Petty is like a leader on defense but um, we have Jays, like I think we have like a really talented like secondary and um, our linebackers are really good like I said Marlon Petty is a big leader on our team he gets everybody to the ball so you guys got uh, a couple of different guys going both ways then yeah we got like a couple guys going both ways like six or seven I remember I met Heath at an Eastern Guilford basketball game I mean we were covering you on the website way back you were probably ninth or tenth grade remember those good JV teams you guys had yeah all the way back in those days probably two or three years ago back in your day did you guys win the conference title when you were the JV team that had so much success back then I know you were close back those days? We were close. We didn't quite win, but we were close. How about your running game? I saw that take effect and did pretty well with that, too, in that game against Southern Guilford. The second half especially. Yeah. So you were some pretty, I mean, how much do you probably weigh? Like 175. 175. 175, okay. But uh, you ran about like a 190, 200 pound on a couple of those runs. Very determined on those runs that night uh -huh. against Southern Guilford. Yeah, very determined. Oh, you I had, had to get something going. I had to get something going. Do you, going, going. Get the running game going. Do you uh, kind of approach it so you don't mind if you get hurt? You just go at it? I don't really think, I don't look at it like that. I just play ball. Play ball and play hard. Mm -hmm. How about the uh, top target? Is it Jarius Warhead? Yeah, most definitely. He's your top target. Having a good season, too. But I like to spread the ball out, too, so I mean. Now, who else besides Jarius would get a chance to get their hands on the ball besides him? Uh, we got Raekwon Jones. Heard this name a couple of times, yeah. Um, we just got, we got like a really good backfield and stuff, so I mean, plenty, hey. of, plenty of options for me to spread the ball out, too. Did you come up through the ranks, through the JV ranks to varsity now with most of these guys you guys played together for a while? Yeah, I've been playing with Jace all the way since we Pee Wee Ball. So. That's pretty good stuff. I heard it one time, he was thinking about maybe, or they were talking about he might be a quarterback one day, but he kind of really drifted more and kind of settled more into being the receiver than it, no more yeah. quarterback for him. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. What about his brother? What happened to him? I mean, he was an Eastern Guilford football player. Moved on down the road a little bit. That was uh, Darius, I think it was. Darius wore it. No, Josh. Josh. Get yeah, all Josh, stuff. So Josh, Josh and Billy. What did become a Josh? What happened to Josh? Um, yeah. Is he still playing ball anywhere? Yeah, he still plays ball. I mean, I don't really know where, but I know he still plays ball and stuff. Still active then. Giving so tips to Jarius, basically. What's that now? Giving tips to Jarius and stuff. Gotcha. Is Jarius, is Jarius coming through for you guys like you would expect? I saw the other day his number's about 185, maybe 190 yards or even on the year, pretty good? Yeah, I mean, he's playing good, but I mean, I think we all, as a team, can play better. What about the big game coming up tomorrow night against Northeast Guilford? What does that game mean to uh, Eastern Guilford Wildcats? Back in the day, a couple of years ago, this wasn't a conference game. Now it is a conference game. Not only being that, it's also, I think, one of your big rivals, too. What's this game mean to you guys? I mean, it's our first conference game of the year. I mean, I always like to go into conference play strong and stuff, so, I mean, it's a really big game for us. You can get, yeah. get this game, but I think I feel like we could get get it going and stuff. It would be great for the conference to win this one, though. Yeah, it would do it. It'd also be great at the same time for the team to be 3-0 and now and be 4-0 after this game. You go 4-0, and you just kind of keep that whole thing rolling like you're talking about. Yeah, keep the train going. Do you see it as a good possibility? You feel pretty confident going in? Yeah, I feel confident. I feel confident in my team. What do you think you need to do to beat Northeast? Uh, just play Wildcat football. I mean, get after it, follow our game plan that we've been working on all week. We 
which we've had two weeks actually to study these guys. So, I mean, I feel like we have a great game plan going this week. Has that been a good thing, having that week off uh, between games, or would you like it better to keep playing because you guys were on the roll? You already had the 3-0 and going, and uh, yeah. then you got to take that break. Is that good or bad? What do you think? I think it's kind of both. I mean, okay. it's good like, to get a break, rest up and stuff. I mean, it's also bad because, like, once you get on a roll, you don't really want to stop. You want to keep going, keep keep the train going and stuff. Keep the train rolling, keep the Wildcat train moving. What about uh, going back? We talked about the Southern Guilford game. Then you got the West Montgomery game. Uh, how did you pull that one off? Um, West Montgomery, they had a very talented quarterback, number 10. I forget his name, but um, – I'd heard some things about him, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we basically had a game plan set up against him. I mean, we pretty, mu- pretty much stopped him. So our defense, like I said, our defense hung in with us and our offense kind of took, pick, took care of business. It sounds to me like the defense is probably on the uh, one of the big bright spots. You went down to Eastern Randolph, shut them out, yeah. shut them down, shut them out, turn them one nothing. Yeah, our defense is like, – I would like to say that we're a defense team, but I mean, I don't think our offense is fully shown yet to its potential. So 21 points not bad, though. No. Hold the opponents to nothing, and uh, you guys post 21. That's not bad at all. Talking about Northeast Guilford, that's the only big game right now. Which is bigger, in your opinion, kind of in your mind, if you had to kind of compare the two? I know you want the one tomorrow night more than anything because you're 3-0. You know, that's the next game on uh-huh. the schedule. To you, I mean, just kind of evaluating this kind of in a relaxed manner, which is bigger, Northeast or Northern? Um... Right now, Northeast, I mean, Northeast is the game we're focused on right now, and um, that's the team we're looking at right now. But you're looking forward, I'm sure, when you get this Northeast business squared away, down the road coming in, I think about a few weeks you've got Northern on the schedule. That's mm-hmm. a big one for you, too. Yeah, we'd like to knock them guys off, too. I mean, I think they're on like a three-season streak. 30-some games in a row they've won now. Yeah, I mean, they got a good team over there at Northern Guilford. I've not got the schedule in front of me. You don't either, but can you tell me, is that game with Northern, is that at home or away this year? Do you know? It's a away game. Game. It's an away game. Mm-hmm. Hitting the road against Northern Guilford. Got Northeast at home. Could go 4-0 to win tomorrow night. Heath Justice is with us from the Eastern Guilford Wildcats getting it done here tonight at Shane's Rib Shack. And uh, what would it mean to the Eastern Guilford school, even the student body, entire, everybody at Eastern, what would it mean to go 4-0 to begin the season? I don't remember the last time Eastern went 4-0 to start the year. And we haven't it's done that. It's been about five years. been about five, five years, yeah. Had a good start a few years ago. What, what would it mean to the school to start that season 4-0? I mean, it'd be great to like, start out going 4-0. I believe it'd be a great thing. I mean, it like reps are like they actually have a chance to represent our school and like represent our school in a good way, get our name out there and get things going and stuff. What's it like in these games at home now? Is the school starting to get behind you? The student body kind of getting this thing too? Oh yeah, the crowds are getting bigger and everything. Like more energy in the stadium, more energy in players too. So I mean, it's just a better atmosphere. It's a lot more fun to go to practice uh, on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. A lot day. more fun. I mean, you're winning games like this, no doubt about it. Yeah. What is uh, the new coach, Coach Doug Robertson, and his coaches said? What have they meant to this team and to the turnaround? I mean, without them, we, we wouldn't be where we're at. I mean, they just turned the whole program around. And, and How did they do it? Um, what, what changed when they came in? What was, what was the difference? The attitude, everything, the atmosphere, more down to business. I mean, they really meet. They, like, the players really listen to them because, like, I don't know, we really feel like they know what they're talking about and stuff. It's just, I don't know, you feel confident be, behind Coach Robertson and what he did at Reedsville. He had the success stuff. he had before. Mm-hmm. And after you got the first one against Southern Guilford, then it kind of falls into place and you yeah. guys get more and more serious with each year every week. Yeah, we're sure. like, we know what, we think that, we know that this coach that we got right now knows what he's talking about. So if like, we can just stay behind him or whatever, he's going to lead us in the right way. If you could be on any college team in the country come uh, the day after Friday, come Saturday afternoon or Saturday night, could play for any college team in the country and you're playing quarterback, Back, I'm sure that's your position you'd like to play. Who would you like to play for? Just a dream to come through, play for any team in the entire nation, put you out on that field. You're uh, no longer Heath Justice. You're now uh, Heath Manziel. <laughs> Who would that team be? Texas a and if I get to be Manziel. Who would, it, who would it be if you could just choose any team to play for? Who would be a bad uh, choice? The Gators. Gators? Yeah, the Gators. You would the help Gators. the Gators. They're struggling a little bit right now. Yeah, they're struggling right now offensively. 
Who do you think the best quarterback is in the NFL these days? I know you probably watch that. You got to do watching a lot of football in your spare time. You need to break something to do. Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick. Like he it. is every phase of the game down pat. He can run the ball. Yeah, the ball. The thing surprised me is running. I think his running looks better than. I mean, I look. You know, sometimes you compare these quarterbacks and study. We see a lot of Cam Newton because they're on TV all the time. Every Sunday, yeah. you know, we get that game at their home at one o'clock or whatever. We watch a lot of Cam Newton. I think Colin Kaepernick is a better runner, a smoother runner, kind of a leaner runner than what Newton is these days. Yeah, I really do too. I mean, Kaepernick, I mean, Kaepernick's fat. I think Kaepernick's faster too. Sure. Yeah. For, oh, no, he's a good runner. For yourself, all this uh, said and put aside, what do you see yourself in the future after your senior year? What do you see yourself doing the next year? Um, everything's still open. I mean, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I mean, just study, hit the books and stuff. And do you have an interest in playing football past what you're doing right now? I would love to play football in college. I mean, but we'll just see where that goes. Would you consider maybe the Tyler Hunt route? Tyler Hunt comes out of Eastern Guilford. Uh, he was looking around. He's visiting different schools when he was a senior. Punter, kicker, mm -hmm. kickoff man. Had some talks with other schools. Ends up to go for College Division Three. Would you look at something like that? Yeah, I mean, I would take any opportunity to play ball on the next level. Yeah, I would think Coach Leesmore. He's over at Greensboro College now. I think he's coaching the linebackers, coaching defense. I think he would come after some of these Eastern Guilford Wildcats. This is a full Wildcat man. Yeah. I mean, Eastern's got a lot of talent. I mean, I'm pretty sure he would come after it. Think about after him coaching yeah. us our sophomore and freshman year. So. Yeah, he, did he coach you guys as the JV unit, too? He coached both? Yeah. So you guys were winning some big games under him back in the day, too, that JV mm -hmm. team. Yeah. How does it work as far as that goes now? You look at a guy like Coach Lucebo there for a few years, and then you kind of look around now how things change. What do you see? He, he kind of laid a pretty good groundwork, though, when he was there, right? Yeah. Yep, he was serious. I mean, Coach Lucemore, I hate that he had to leave and stuff. But right, right. I wish he could have stayed. But every, mean, everything, like they say in a lot of times, everything's all good now. The things are moving smooth you guys these days. Yeah, Coach Robson. I like Coach Robson a lot, too. So, What's it going to take to beat uh, Northeast to win that game tomorrow night to make sure you guys can keep this winning streak going? You go from 3-0 to 4-0. What do you got to do to beat Northeast? Play Wildcat football. Get after it. You know, just play hard every play and um, give it our best shot. What are you looking to do as far as your game goes going to that game? Any particular goals that you set? Do you set different goals every week or you got like some season-long goals? Season-long goals. I mean, my job is basically just put our team in the best position to win the game. So that's what I try to do. Who's the guy who snaps the ball to you? Let's get those guys like maybe a shout-out. Who's your center? Uh, Jacob Pennington. Jacob Pennington. How about yeah. the big guys up front to the left and right of him, the uh, guards? Tyree Lundy, right guard, and then Corbin Revels at the left. Guard. He's a pretty good guy. Rebels about 225, right? Yeah, and you got Chris Chambers at left tackle. And then I think right tackle is Daryl Ashley. Ashley, okay. Yeah. Okay. So Kyrie Lundy, he is a busy wildcat, isn't he? Yeah, Kyrie Lundy. He's one of our main guys. He goes both ways and uh he made a big statement in that Southern game. He really did. I think he took two balls back for touchdowns, right? Yeah. Big reason why we won the game. That's not that easy to do. I mean, he was scooping up some fumbles, and uh, he was taking the ball back to the house.